guys, uh, it's Kayla back with another video. Okay, um, so first things first is, um, I haven't been getting like a lot of views or whatever on my videos. So if you guys could share like with your friends and stuff, I would really, really appreciate it. The beauty of 8th grade is that it's highly specific and generational. It's the first movie to capture in a major way the teenage experience of those who have only existed on this planet during the digital era. There are of course all sorts of films that portray teenagers glued to their uh, text messages and Instagram posts plugging into the online stream. What 8th grade captures what eighth grade captures is how the omnipresent digital era we breathe has begun to make a profound mark on our social structure and personalities. The movie opens with Kayla recording one of the first person videos that she likes to share online. Like, you know, ignore them if they're being mean to you about it, and everything will work out if you're just being yourself. Uh, okay, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope some of you guys found it helpful. Um, and make sure to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> um, and it is her way of connecting with others, and it's only in these videos with which. And it's only in these videos with their consumer's wink of a sign of Gucci that she feels halfway confident and relaxed. The videos are her statements about life and the first one is touching in a metaphysical and topsy-turvy way because it's all about how important it is to be yourself, to, to be the individual you really are. That of course is the very thing Kayla feels upset about being, yet. If this were just a movie about a repressed wallflower learning to come out of her shell and be herself. Kayla needs to gain confidence. Alright. But the real problem she's confronting is that the whole notion of what it means to be yourself is more than ever a construct derived from the forces outside of you. Anything that isn't providing those signals is to be avoided at all costs. Treat her dribbage single dad like a hostile alien, even though he isn't a bad guy. His sin is that he's a refugee from the analog era. Food's getting cold. I like it cold. So he has nothing to tell her that could possibly be of use. She sits at dinner, tuning him out with her earbuds, and then, and then the director bottom stages a rapturous sequence in which Kayla retires to her room and surfs the web with with Anya's onyco flow sailway on the soundtrack and we feel the magic of the images washing over her they are the own reality she would die to live in okay kids have been hooked on images of alternate realities Star Wars superheroes and TikTok for a long time but in 8th grade, the desire to escape into an official world of coolness that transcends the human home drum reality around you is encoded into every conversation and encounter. The film's dialogue unfolds behind the complexly orchestrated ticket of likes, us, whatever, and, and that becomes a prison of verbal armor, a way of talking that's designed to keep kids from expressing their true thoughts and feelings. The one thing that everyone around is to do is grow up too fast and that's how they use their technology while at one point a kid argues that your identity is stamped by the exact age you were you were when twitter came on the scene Kayla longs to be herself but in eighth grade yourself yourself longs to be herself is what you're no longer allowed to be the one thing you're allowed to be is cool and 